I'm Tom Beaumont, a national political correspondent for the Associated Press based in the Midwest. I entered the fall campaign season with a question. What changed over the summer? And to find out whether there was anything to the sense that Democrats were picking up some momentum. What I came away with was two major shifts, both involving independent voters. And I decided to focus my reporting in Wisconsin. The reason I focused on Columbia County is because it's a county in transition. It's at the edge of the state's second largest metropolitan area, Madison, Wisconsin. And it is becoming more politically diverse. It's a collection of small towns with pockets of progressive voters, but surrounded by more conservative rural areas. I talked to an independent voter there whose main concern was the overturning of Roe versus Wade and the impact that that would have on women's rights. And that's driving her decision to vote Democrat this fall. I don't feel any person has the right to tell a woman what to do with her body. Even if it goes against their religious beliefs, they have no right to impose that upon a woman. The second and perhaps more important shift that I noticed involved independent voters who early in the year went looking for answers on the economy, and they looked toward Republicans. On the one hand, they were running into messaging from Republican leadership in Washington, hammering away at Biden on the economy. But on the other hand, they were running into messaging about the cacophony of legal issues surrounding former President Trump. I don't want the polarized parties the way they are. I don't like a Republican is not Republican of 20 years ago. One of the reasons these findings are so potentially revealing is because Senator Ron Johnson, the Republican seeking re-election in Wisconsin, is the most vulnerable Republican in the Senate. Whether Republicans can take the majority in the Senate depends in large part on how Johnson does among Republican voters in Wisconsin. It also tells us how influential independent voters will likely be in the November midterms.